Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my strong close. Uh, this is something I said yesterday. If you guys hit the like button enough, I would put out part two right away. Uh, some of the more explosive passing plays from this formation, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, the plays I'm going to show you today, they aren't necessarily you know anybody else's offensive plays. These are the plays that I use, uh, whether it's from you know previous years or uh, you know if you bought my ebook, if you bought my Niners ebook or my Raiders ebook, these are going to be the exact same plays that have been in there since the beginning of the year so i'm not showing you anybody else's offense i'm showing you my own designs uh from these plays i'm using the, the formation that's considered the meta formation but i'm not using what i would you know the plays that would be considered the meta plays i don't know them i don't really follow other youtubers to the point where i learn other people's offenses so the plays i'm going to show you today are 100 mine like i said they've been in my ebooks all year since the beginning of the year maybe if you bought one of them you can comment to attest to that but ultimately like i said these are my own designs they might not be the meta designs these are my own personal ways that i would run this offense so i'm going to start off with the y trail this is definitely one of my favorites so let's go ahead and let's pick uh that first this is pretty much going to it's going to have a couple different uses but i'm going to start off with cover two now before i get into this video as always these videos are brought to you by my coin sponsors at moxp.com if you guys want to get some uh, coins to get your mutt team up quick check them out link in the description below other than that use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order so to get into this video like i said there's a couple different things you can do with this we have a good man coverage concept here but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use this as a cover two zone beater all i really have to do is motion across the a route and put him on a streak and uh, this x route is going to be gone i'm going to move the ball over though because you can really be explosive if you run this to the open side of the field so this is pretty much going to be one of the uh the easier ways to do it i can put this b route and drag too that will also help out when it comes to pulling this cornerback down but you're really just waiting for this guy to get just you know a little bit past that cornerback and all you got to do is bullet and pass it outside for a really explosive one play touchdown so without a doubt you know the motion the, the tight end across is probably my preferred way i do think there's people that motion across uh the receiver when they run this particular series of offensive plays but i find the tight end uh just does a little bit better job pulling that uh, safety back but i'm pretty sure you can do it either way so that's a good cover two play i'm going to show you guys next some good cover three and cover four plays there's really two that you can use together the pa deep cross and the pa scissors are two of them i think there's another one yeah the fl drive so you really have three plays that are all going to do just about the same thing uh, but the difference is you know it basically between the FL drive and uh, the other play I'm going to show which is the PA deep cross is the different receivers are the ones that are hitting the home run so that's why it's best to use these in conjunction with one another so let's go ahead and let's put them into the audibles because like I said they are pretty much the same uh, but I'm going to show you guys the differences so FL drive PA deep cross we'll start off with that next uh, we'll go with the the PA deep cross and then we're going to start off with cover three zone uh, on the defensive side so basically what i was trying to get at with these two plays having essentially the same route but the different receiver is on them is that will really help you to disguise what the home run route is if you really try to mix it up uh, because your opponent might try to uh, follow the crossing route trying to take away the one play touchdown that i'm going to show you uh, which ultimately you know you can um, you know it's going to be a benefit so like i said this play here you can actually home run cover two with that as well which i'll show in a minute but we're going to start off with that it's going to be the exact same setup no matter which play you run uh this play here if it's a cover three you just want to motion out the x route put them on an out route and the smart route them and that's pretty much going to be all she wrote then you just have to wait for this b route to cross the middle and then you can see you have a really easy one play touchdown against cover three like i said you can do that with the other play going the opposite direction so if your opponent, uh, you know, I mean, there's going to be a cover four one play touchdown setup where you motion this receiver out. That's going to be how you home run cover four. So if your opponent is watching the motions of the routes, uh, you can just easily, you know, mix them up by, by you know, switching up the play and changing who the crossing receiver is. And, you know, that'll just keep your opponent on their toes. Against cover four, all we're going to do is put this X route in a drag, and we're going to motion out the opposite receiver this time. You Basically, to beat cover four, you really have to spread this formation out and deflate the left side of the uh, the deep safeties. So that's all we're really going to do. Uh, and then we're just going to wait for this uh, this B route here to get inside of this uh, this strong safety here, and then we, we don't get the completion. But you can see he got passed. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that again, but I am working with Jimmy Garoppolo here, so... You know, we might not be able to complete the, the most spectacular passes in the world based off of who I'm working with. 
Uh, but you can see without a doubt, we're just going to save catch that because I just didn't have any faith that the rat catch was going to happen. But you can see it's passed. So we're just going to go into the replay here quick. I'm just going to show you guys when to throw the ball. Basically, this guy here, once he crosses the, uh, the, the strong safety, that's when I'm throwing the ball. The second he's inside, you can see he's already passed the cornerback and the safety here. This safety just barely reacts to him, but it's already too late. So basically, once he gets inside, I'm just bullet and passing away. I'm sure if I go back to the quarterback, he's already he's already ripping it. Uh, but that's it. I'm just watching that receiver. Once he gets inside of him, like he does right there, bullet, pass, lead away, and we're just you know switching on and sprinting the space. That's all we got to do. This play can also have a lot of success against cover two zone if you crawl, if you motion across the B route, put the X route on a streak, and then put the A route on a drag. Uh, and this is pretty much going to be the look right here. Uh, and then you just really have to just bullet, pass, lead to the outside with this B route, and you're going to have success to the outside once again. This is another play where, you know, I can pretty much, um, you know, if I ran this from the open side of the field, from the, you know, the hash mark, the right hash mark, I could probably get a really good catch and run play, but I'm not really going to worry about that. You can see that we're having success here, although for some reason Jimmy G's floating a lot of balls, but you can see it's getting open. So moving on to some man beaters, um, this formation or this, uh, you know, this series of plays really is loaded with them. I showed a man beater yesterday, the, the uh, angle out. Uh, I think I might have called the wide receiver out at the time. Uh, but there's some really good plays that you can use. The PA deep cross is one of them, the play that I was just showing. So we'll show that one more time uh, against cover two man. Uh, and you're going to see with no setup at all, um, this X route, because these receivers are so far inside, they get such a good release uh, that this crossing route, this deep crossing route is going to do a good job and consist about any coverage. Don't really have to do any adjustments, which is nice. You can see he just cooks that inside route. Um, and at any point in time, I can throw that ball. He's going to be open. And you can pretty much run this setup against any defense in the game. If you motion across the B route and put him on a drag and then put the A route on a streak, uh, you can pretty much run this setup no matter what you're looking at. Whether you're looking at an all-out man blitz like this was, you can just take the drag. Um, or the, you know, basically the drag or the crosser is always going to be open. And this is something, like I said, doesn't matter the defense. Man or zone, this is going to be a good setup. Just wait till it gets set. And then you're going to see we have a, uh, a look where this uh, this X route, especially you can see right here. I mean, the deep crosser, you know, he was open all the way. I probably should have passed led that up a little bit. I might have been able to hit a touchdown there. But this is something, like I said, this look, this play in particular, obviously, is just a very, um, you know, it's a very hard to stop play. There's a lot of things you can do on a play like this. And like I said, all that man blitz, I'm just going to dump it down to the to the B route. That's always going to be there. The drag's going to be there for the check down. So we're going to do this one more time. The running back, I don't really need that. I can actually do this. I can put him in a swing route if I want, um, and that'll help to pull those coverages down. As you can see, like I said, I'm always looking for that big play, and if it wasn't for that sideline, I would have had another touchdown there. But you can see, I mean, this is something that, you know, it doesn't matter, man or zone, this is going to have success. Like I said, I could do that swing route there. That just pulls coverage down even more, gives me a little bit more of an outlet. But I'm always looking for these big plays. I'm always looking for the big play down the field anyway. And then last but not least, this play can also hit a one-play touchdown. It can really glitch out, um, cover four quarters. So we're going to pick that. I put this defense out yesterday. I said it was one of the harder defenses for people to face. But you can really glitch this out. If you motion this guy across here and then put the X route on a curl. Uh, and then also the A route on a curl and the RB route on a curl. That's all you really got to do. Block the running back, give myself a little extra protection. And this B route is just going to go right up the uh, right up the seam there. As you can see, it just runs right past. Um, although the sideline was the bigger issue than the defender. We're going to do that again. Let's go let's motion this guy across. Like I said, we're just going to curl everybody up. And then block that running back. And then for whatever reason, this B route here. Uh, it's just gone. Like I said, the sideline is really the biggest issue as, I, as I'm just not getting the pass lead up the field that I want. But you can see he's getting by for a very big play. So if I ran this play from all the way to the sideline, it'd probably be an even easier one-play touchdown. Now there's another play that is very similar to um, the PA deep cross. I can really home run a lot of different coverages, and that's the PA scissors. So we'll pick that. Uh, this is going to have some similarities, but it's also going to have uh, some differences. The difference, the main difference is going to be what it does against cover three. So we're going to pick cover three. This play, I mean, I can do the exact same thing that I was doing uh, with the uh, with the PA deep cross. I can do the exact same cover two, cover three, cover four beaters, all that stuff uh, with the um, with the main route, with the with the B route there. But it also has the potential to hit a one play touchdown to cover three to the other side. So I'm going to put the running back on a route, motion him out to the left. Then I'm going to streak uh, the X route and block the running back. Uh, if it's like second and five or third and five, I'm going to want to put the A route on a smart route. But in this scenario. 
I can't do that. So I'm just going to put the B route here on a streak. Uh, and then, like I said, if I can shorten the A route with a smart route, I will. But I can't do that in this you know in practice mode uh, and then this is pretty much going to be the play right here he's basically just going to get open uh, up the cover three seam which is a nice uh, change of pace so i'm going to do that one more time like i said if you can shorten if you're at anything less than first and 10 uh, anything less than 10 yards down to gain um, shortening the a route is going to make that b route get open even quicker but you can see right here if it breaks at 10 yards if i if i smart route it here it actually lengthens it which i don't want to do i always want to try to shorten that uh which you know has to be less than first and 10 uh to do that so like second and five second and eight whatever so we're going to do that one more time you can leave that fullback running that route uh but i'd rather have the blocking so we're going to do that one more time like I said, we're just loading up. Looks like we're going to have an easy one-play touchdown this time. This is the first time the, uh, the safety caught up. But you can see it's a very easy one-play touchdown against cover three. And since you're beating it outside the seam, that's probably a better way to go. The crossing one-play touchdowns are cool and all, but I'd always rather go uh, to the seam. I'd rather beat the cover three seam because that's always going to be quicker. Go ahead and I'll roll out here. You can see, I mean, that was the throw on the run. Kind of messed that up. But it's always faster and it's always harder to use her when you're doing it that way. When you give the, it takes longer to go across the field than anything. And then the PA scissors play also has a lot of success against just random zone concepts because you have that high-low route. So I'm just going to pick random nickel this play here can have a lot of success just going to the uh, the running back and the tight end as you can see this flat route that's why i was saying make sure you switch this out to an actual speed running back you can see you can have success right there that's typically going to be the look under uh, most zones you can see the zones drop back uh, based off of the receiver and the tight end pulling the coverage back so you can steal that all game yeah the x route there is a good check down also especially in man coverages um, but you know that's probably your best man beater. Uh, but I, I really say that you know I'm really just looking at the uh, the routes on the other side. But if you if you read man, I mean if it's zone, I'm going to the right side. If it's man, uh, the the the, uh, the X receiver is probably going to be the best way to go. So if it's a zone coverage, I'm really just reading the the running back or the fullback versus the tight end. If it's a man coverage, I'm pretty much always going to switch over to the X route. Although the X route here is pretty good check down also. Uh, and if you're running this play a lot, your opponent's users are going to leave the middle of the field. So if they're if they're freelancing outside because of these outside routes uh, that you're constantly hitting uh, then the X route is going to be a good uh, a good play against the user so we'll, we'll do that one more time here we got that man blitz like I said anytime I read man anytime I read a tight coverage I'm going right to that X route go we'll do that one more time and then, like I said this can set up even though I haven't really hit the tight end yet you can really set this up with all the same one play touchdowns that I already showed so I'm not really going to go over the one play touchdown setups because they're the exact same from the PA deep cross so that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Niners playbook, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.